Let's go. All right, what's up, my friends? Welcome. Our last deck of the World Championships preview. We are playing one deck from each archetype, and uh, so far we played uh, Seth Manfield's Mono Red. We played uh, Javier Dominguez's Just Guy Fires, Paul Vitor Damage de Rose's Azorius Control, Canister's Drun Sacrifice. We get one deck left, and it is a full one quarter of the field in Team Reclamation. Probably one of the most powerful, like in a vacuum, decks in the field. Uh, capable of doing kind of crazy things, making a bunch of mana, and doing kind of combo-esque things. And um, we're playing Autumn Burchett's list. Autumn is obviously an insanely good Magic player. And yeah, it's pretty pretty standard, honestly. Nothing too crazy here. Four Acclamations, uh, Storm's Wrath, great new addition to the deck from, um, from Theros Beyond Death. Euro, also a great new addition because the card Explore is already good in this deck. And then uh, it gives it a nice grindy element in longer games, you can keep playing Euro and so on and so forth, make use of the mana. Uh, four copies of Thassa's Intervention, new card as well. Uh, deck makes a lot of mana and wants a little versatility, so Intervention works out pretty well. Uh, Opt, Almond of the Sea, Scorch Dragon Fire, two Krasis. It's all pretty standard, nothing too crazy. Cyborg's where things get interesting. Autumn's got some Night Pack Ambushers. Night Pack Ambusher. So. I mean, when I played uh, at SCG Philly, I'm sorry, I had the metagame up, I'm, my, my bad. When Autumn played, um, I'm sorry, when I played at SCG Philly last weekend, uh, I played Simic Flash, I had a team reclamation opponent board out all the reclamations, all their expansion explosions, just board in like four Nightpack ambushers, and it just became like a, a teamer flashy deck, which obviously makes sideboarding pretty difficult when there's the ability to jump and juke like that. Obviously, deck lists are public for this event, so it's a little harder to jump and juke, but still a very powerful card in the sideboard. And of course, just good cards, you know, Aether Gust, Negate, Fry, and so on and so forth. Uh, Fry is very important because killing Teferi and Narset is a huge deal. Huge deal. So, let's play Autumn's, uh, Autumn's Fires here and see what we can do. That is not what I meant to do. Come on, Arena. Let's get into a game here, please. Thank you. Alright folks, like I said, check out CoolStuffInc.com, CoolStuffInc.com, number one source for all your game shopping needs and my articles. I said my article is up talking about the the world's metagame, metagaming in general, how to how to look at the world's decks and apply what you're seeing to your own personal tournaments. Don't copy them card for card. They're trying to beat 16 players at world, not your average metagame. So, articles uh, on cool stuff, check it out. Um, Video Monday, article Friday, great deals. Gym 5, go buy your uh, your Euros and stuff. CoolStuffInc.com. Mr. Koth is here. Mr. Koth. Anyhow, Growth Spiral just looks so freaking good. Uh, we're going to keep. Thoughts on Canister's unique meta choice. His deck, in theory, seems very bad against the field. Uh, Jun Food is good against creature decks. It's good against mid-range decks. It's not good against decks over, over the top like this. Doesn't seem great against blue light control. Seems soft to Dream Trawler, but Canister's the master, and um, I am not, so who knows, you know? So, I need to watch out for Teferi. Canister will get dead last. Finn Dorsal has called it right here. We're going to absorb my. Growth Spiral. That's bold. I'm usually in favor of, like, disputing Growth Spirals, but firing off an Absorb in Game 1 when you're light on counter spells is... It's interesting. Um, I guess we're going to Euro here. It's all pretty good. Bye, Euro. Cliff Jumper, resub. Thank you. Remember, folks, best way to support me as a Magic player and a streamer is to subscribe. It is only $5 a month. That's right, just 5 bucks a month. Once I get you, all my all my, all my my emotes, all my VODs, access to all my VODs. Um, private Discord chat server. Uh, all sorts of stuff. I gotta thank them. So they got to ferry. They got to land. Um, we have Dragonfire. We can't kill it yet. We can Brazen Borrower. Um, we don't have a land. We can 
Brazen Bar and Intervention it. We could just like play Reclamation now and just resolve it. But if they have Conqueror's Death, that's really bad. So I think we're just gonna play land, Brazen Bar over it. Or Petty Theft it, whatever. We actually want them to bounce it with Teferi, because then we can then we can dragon fire over Teferi. That would be that would be great. Um, Alright, so let me say go. They crack the land. They don't crack the land. They do crack the land. They don't crack the land. They don't crack the land. Alright, well now we can't counter it with inter with intervention. But we can play we play borrower in response. So Scorching Dragon Fire. Nothing? There's not doing anything? Uh, alright. Do I want a Borrower or Spiral? Interesting. Yeah, not a very cough like deck here from our opponent. Um... I don't actually have a land for Spiral. We should just play Borrower. I mean, you didn't play Teferi. You obviously have a plan here. What's your plan? Okay. else? No? Okay. Euro's fine. Not great, but fine. Sure. I mean, I think them having absorb is very reasonable. Shock. We have intervention as a counter spell, so I don't think our life matters too much. Are they going to do anything? Alright, so Absorb seems fairly likely, but they have Teferi in hand and uh, wanted to leave Absorb up, which is fine. Um, they go top bottom. They want to ferry, we're gonna growth spiral, sure. Kinda like have to answer this brazen borrower, so then we can dragon fire over to ferry. Stand by and watch. Opponent is tanking. Just tanking, tanking, tanking. Bouncing brazen borrower, sure. So we get to untap, opt, I mean, fire away in the dragon fire. And that burns the absorb, not too shabby. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have multiple blue. Bouncing to Fairy just seems actively bad. So we can just attack it now. I would really like to play Opt and uh, try and find a blue land, like a land drop here too. But we just gotta play Brazen Borrower, I think. We're soft to Elspeth Conqueror's death no matter what we do, but. Oh. Fairy is pretty annoying. I mean, I think if Teferi wasn't legal in the format, then this deck would be the best deck by a country mile. It wouldn't even be close. 
Um, so, Teferi is certainly holding the Team of Reclamation deck, deck back from being broken, but... Please don't conquer death. We get to Euro pretty soon, right? Yeah. Sure. Not the best, but could be worse. Temple. So we can opt in Euro here, right? Uh, we can we, we could Euro right now. But the world we have to lose a Euro though. Or I could opt and then yeah, let's just opt instead. Opt. Land, sure, four, two, it's all fine. Oh. I guess that wasn't good. I thought I could spiral, but I can't. That's really awkward. Unchained! Okay, well now I can, so cool. Certainly making land drops, that's for sure. Alright, deal with my Euro. I've got it. I've got it. Elspeth Sun's Nemesis. Alright, well, that's fine, I guess. Courage will bloom in all who seek justice. I mean, that was pretty good. Um, that was pretty good. Hey, oh, indeed. A boom, boom, boom. Let me hear you say, hey, oh, hey, oh. Uh, yeah. Is there anything I can get them to counter before I play this? Probably not. Yeah, whatever. Just do it. Just do it. Ah, oh, absorb number three. Rude. Alright, um... I don't mind just playing Reclamation, because we have this, uh... This Castle Fandress in play, so... Um... Probably need to shock there, realistically, but... Whatever. Yeah, I didn't need a shock at all. I thought I could I, I, I could castle, castle twice. I wasn't even close. Um, okay. That's fine. Like, the board's kind of gummed up right now, but they're running out of cards. And we just draw two cards to turn with Euro anyway, so... Yeah, let's take two. Whatever, you know? Okay. It's not not the best, not the best, but So, we've got 3 in the bin. We can bin intervention and I mean, binning all my is pretty hard actually. They have actual no cards left. So, you might just want to like, crank the uh, intervention up for a million. They also have no creatures or planeswalkers in the graveyard either. And they could just like sack this Elspeth basically. Um, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hmm. Yeah, there's no way I can play Euro this turn without a draw sort of like an option thing. Let's play this for nine. 
Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm sorry, seven. So I want to cast the omen too. Dig through time. It only costs a hundred million mana. Buttered Pooper. Risa, welcome back. Storm's Wrath, love it. Expansion Explosion. Um, yeah, love it. It's fun. That's some boomers. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna wait till Conqueror's Death goes off before we try and deal with these planeswalkers. What the hell just Oh my god. I was trying to view the battlefield and I clicked the wrong button. Son of It's not actually that bad because the we just fetched the land away anyway, and we get an extra card for Euro, but. Yeah, a little less efficient than, than uh, Dig Through Time is, but. So, we got two scries. Can't actually deal with the uh, Teferi yet. We do got those land drops. We definitely got those, those fat land drops. Scry, sure. Top's not good. Now they might bounce their, El their Conqueror's Death, though. No. That's more like it. Interesting. I mean, I feel like they definitely want to put a Planeswalker in the graveyard for next turn, but, you know. Grumpy Old Buddha, thanks for following. If you haven't followed the stream, hit that follow button, of course, watching on YouTube. Make sure you follow on there. Welcome, welcome, welcome. They're just refusing to put a Planeswalker in the graveyard. They want to get no value out of their Conqueror's Death. Why? I have no idea. Another expansion explosion? Oh, I. Right. And, uh. Yeah. Am I gonna be co streaming worlds to give my commentary? Are people interested in me doing that? Definitely not something I consider doing. How do you stop Reclamation from just passing even in full control? You, hit, you put a stop on your end step. You gotta put a stop on your end step. All right, so want this to go out before this goes off. I'm just gonna play Euro here. I need to see like a lot of interest uh, for uh, co-streaming worlds to consider doing that. Like a lot of interest. You want me to like commentate? You want, should, should the audio be on? Like I would need to like think about that. World starts soon. Want me to comment on their commentary? <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. We're not going to uh, do anything crazy here. We're trying to euro again. Shit. Uh, I was looking at chat, and I think it's the one on the left. Is that the one that needs to go to the graveyard? So I need to keep the one on the right. I gotta keep the one on the right, right? Okay. The old brazen borrower. Okay. Um. Hmm. Maybe we'll try doing the co-stream thing. That's interesting. I have never never done that before. I like doing new things, because I'm not scared of new things. I'm not scared of change. I can change, I can change. All right, so... Now I kind of want to just bounce the Teferi. I guess, maybe not, actually. Because I can just do that on... Yeah, I'm going to just say go here. So I don't, so I don't, let me, let, so let me be clear. If I co-stream the, what is going on? If I co-stream the worlds, I am, 
is the audio on? Am I just commentating the games like straight up? Or what exactly? Or am I turning the audio off and just me talking? What are we? The audio's on. So am I listening to them talk and then just chiming in occasionally? Am I talking the whole time? Glass casket. Kind of annoying. Uh, all right. But how can I commentate if uh, if they're commentating also? That's my question. All right. Maybe we'll try it. Yeah, we're allowed to. I'm pretty sure. Let's try this. Do my best to support you. Okay. Okay. Alright, scrap. I mean, we're pretty, like, well set up here, right? Like, a second Brazen Borrower and a Hydroid Crisis? I mean, I know my hand's really good. They don't know my hand's really good. But, alright. Literally never stop talking. Don't breathe. Okay. Uh, yeah, sure. I guess. So we're going to take out... Uh, what? Well, I don't even know. Oh, man. This looks like the deck I was least excited to play. Because it's, it's very hard to play if you don't know what you're doing. I've never, I never played it before. Um... I don't hate the idea of just boarding out all the reclamations, all the expansion explosions, just bringing in the counter spells and being like a like a flash deck. I'm leaving like three of these. Could I just make a monotone noise increasing in pitch and volume when something hype happens? Uh, like that? Is that good practice? Did I do it? Was that good? Tell me I'm good. Tell me I'm good. Uh, yeah, let's, we're going to try this. Just drink a shitload of coffee. I mean, I don't drink coffee, so I will not do that. I refuse. I make a drink, but was that it? Was that, was that how you commentate? Uh... All right, we're gonna mulligan. Sure. How about a shitload of Jack Daniels? That's more up my alley than uh than the coffee is. Well, the older I get, the less I can drink, so... Alright, we're gonna keep this. We're gonna ship... I feel like it's probably Opt. Because I... I want Opt to draw a land. I'm not gonna pitch a land. Maybe I can ship one of these Brazen Borrowers, I guess. Okay. I think day drinking would probably ruin my uh, my Valentine's Day tonight. I probably shouldn't do that. If the coal is even like functional, Nicole Nicole is barely barely alive. She's sick. Went to work somehow. I don't know how. Like she just like was a, a dead body this morning. Basically, I got John put him on the bus. Woke her up at like nine forty five, and I was like, "Hey, are you gonna call into work? Or are you huh? What are you doing?" And she just like went to work. She's just insane. Once Pioneer is playable on Arena, does Moto die? One time, every time you get a sub, take a shot. That's actually not allowed. You are not allowed to do that. That is against Twitch TOS. Your drinking cannot be related to the uh, subscribers and stuff. Right, we're going to keep this. Steam vents. Okay. 
Um, yeah, definitely uh, not a smart thing for Twitch to promote. Here it comes. Here it comes. Nothing. Nothing. Just stone nothing. Is Esper Control a thing in Standard? I mean, it's a deck you can play. I don't think it's, like, particularly great, but... Don't think you're allowed to be intoxicated on stream? You most certainly are. You can't be, like, belligerently drunk, but... Right, you, you can't make it like, it can't be, I don't think it can be like, I'm just here to drink, you know, or like, look how much I'm drinking, you know, like, but you can drink on stream. Archon of, so they're just, they're just running it, just running the Archon of Sun's Grace. Um, I don't know what this resolve, and just Brazen Borrower, I guess. This just puts the, the borrower in our adventure zone, buys us more time. Uh, let's passage. Ooh, the ship. Got two counter spells, got ambusher, got borrower. They want to play uh, the Archon. I guess we like need to counter the Archon. We can't allow it to resolve. Prince says, I've watched your stream enough to know it's legal to be belligerent, unruly, and I was assuming meant incomprehensible, but um, we'll get, we're not casting this for a long time. We're probably going to be expansioning in any way as a counter spell, so All right, we're just going to jam uh, Brazen Bar over here. Can't be belligerently drunk. What's the point? Says TV's Ross Merriam. Alright, so... Play land. Now we have a threat in play and an, a thing to do end step every turn in our castle, so... So nice. Sent by Mike, our new moderator, says, Hey, Jim. Somebody would like to ask the perspective of a tournament goer on. Um, yesterday, one of the world's players got a game loss improperly putting their deck list by a card during the draft. Something that would be otherwise impossible if Arena's draft, draft function work, worked properly. Or if... So, blah, blah, blah. Seems ridiculous on Tormer culture. Yeah. Everyone's pretty mad about the uh, Manguchi game loss. It just seems unfair. Um, he caught it himself. There was no opportunity for foul play. It's a 16-person tournament. It's very easy to curate mistakes like that and just talk to literally every player. If it's a larger tournament, it's much harder. But at the Players' Championship, it's... Um, it's not sanctioned, and Jared Silva is just like the the rules god basically. And in I think at the player championship there would have not been a game loss at all. It's just ridiculous. So, all right. So end step, we can castle or we can spiral. Um, we're definitely not casting ambusher. I don't think. I guess we cast ambush. They have to have two counter spells because like they have absorb. They can't veto it. They can't Mystic Dispute it. And we do have a Dispute to fire back. You know what? Actually, let's play the Ambusher. Let's do it. Let's get frisky. Manguchi misregistered one card in his draft deck, realized he made a mistake after it was submitted, said something about it, and got a game loss. Like, which, that's obviously a game loss at a Grand Prix or a PTQ, but the special nature of the event being half on Arena and half on, uh in paper and so and so on and so forth and just like the the overall you know uh importance of the event is makes it a little weird so i mean now we're kind of naked to this archon i guess we're kind of naked to it anyway but yeah uh it's as i said earlier i think it's mostly just growing pains of wizards kind of you know, thinking about how Pro Tours were run with 400 players and thinking about how smaller esports events should be run. 
Um, Narset Parter avails. Uh, no. Yes? Maybe. Hmm. Nah, I think no. Because if, if, if we let it resolve and they have a land to play the Archon, we actually can't do anything about it anymore. Even if we can attack it once, we're just going to get here. Kim, that's not a fair. That's not a fair statement. Kim says, uh, "Growing pains is not an excuse." They've been running events for twenty years. They've never run an event like this before. This is new. So this is dope. We get to expansion their uh, to ferry for a million. That's pretty cool. Totally agree that they they specifically. You missed tap for me. You tap bad, didn't you? You son of a. Yeah, I think I think it's very clear that's a mistake. They probably think it's a mistake also. It just is what it is for now, you know? Alright, let's we'll just crank this bad boy. We have a new plan. Deal with that. I can't guess this yet, but I mean I, what I want to guess is I can grow spiral, so. I've got time. Oh my god, that's brutal. So sick. Oh, you have to a red source here. Maybe I fuck, I screwed up uh, getting, not getting a red source. Never mind, better lucky than good. Um, so this is going to be for 4 on the Archon. With Reclamation out of our deck, we're not as concerned with the Fairy anyway, so let me shoot Fry regardless, so... I guarantee if there's a tournament next weekend and the same thing happens, he does not get a game loss, you know, but it is what it is. I doubt that they're like zealously like, yes, game loss is correct here, too bad, take it on the chin, you know, like I doubt that it's like that, you know, like they probably are, are like, yeah, we probably made a mistake here, so, all right, well, we have eight cards and they have one, um... Let's kill some stuff, I guess. Euro, we got some, some, some Euro stuff. Uh, we gotta kill the fairy because they can bounce the banishing light for free, which is really good. I guess they like wouldn't do that and throw its fairy away, but let's start here. World starts soon, and apparently I'm gonna be co-streaming it. I wasn't planning on doing, but everyone wants to see it. Oh crap! They might, they might do a computer game. I got an email from FedEx. Uh, how much mana do I have? Oh, no. I have a different package. Okay. Packages are coming. I'm sorry, everyone. It's a live stream, folks. We're doing it live on the internet here. Let's kill that Teferi. We got Brazen Borrowers. We got Mystical Disputes. We got the world here. Can I can I escape this thing too? I can. Eh, ship it, whatever. It's just like a it's just like a comedy basically at this point. We should have so much stuff going on and they have nothing. It's it is only a game loss. Like he could just win game two and three, you know? Like, it's not like he's disqualified from the tournament or something. So. Bottom, bottom. GLHF. Good call, cutting the reclamations. Yeah, maybe. I'm not even sure, honestly. Just like... Uh, no, when you, when, you, when you get a game loss in game one of a tournament round, both players are not allowed to sideboard for game two. I guess. I don't know. Well, I guess, are, I don't know if the deck lists are open or not. That's pretty annoying. Um, but we can just bounce it three times, so I don't think it matters. Uh, let's attack.
Take six. Bounce your thing. The draft deck lists are open too? The standard deck lists are open deck lists. Discarding Elspeth Conquers Death. That's a good one too. Bounce it again. Man, this deck just seems really good. Oh, yeah. This is yesterday. They drafted last night. Because they have to import the decks into Arena today. Um, guess we'll Thassa's Intervention this. Uh, four X is two. Boom, boom, boom. Let me hear you say, hey, oh. That was cool. That seems good. That seems quite powerful. What is... It's not doing there. We get a card. It's a wall of lost thoughts. Have I played uh, Kvartex team of reclamation list? No. We're just playing one uh, one deck of each archetype, which you can see here, the archetype breakdown. This is our last of the five. And uh, we're playing Autumn's deck because Autumn is one of my favorite players. So... I just picked the players I wanted to pick at random. I didn't really look at the list super closely. Although I, I, although I played uh, Paulo's list, A, because I, I chose Paulo to win, but Paulo's list seemed very metagame, so I wanted to kind of give it a spin. Yeah, I think Seth and Mangucci have very, very good decks, I agree. This hand is insane. Is that tr Treasure Hunt? Why is there a treasure hunt sleeve? Boom, boom, boom. Fortune Glory, new sub. What's your name? Where you from? Welcome, my friend. Happy to have you. Thanks for sub. Appreciate that. I would say a fourth land is a thing we want. Yes, there is a contest. It's probably too late to join now, but uh, where if you chose the winner, you get like gems and stuff for Arena. Do I enjoy the current standard meta game? It seems fine. Um, better than it's been in a while. Leafkin Druid. Alright. Uh, so. I definitely want to draw, like, you know, a spell of some kind. That wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. Um. I mean, I think East... I only have one mountain in this deck? What, are you kidding me? Oh, man. I, did, I didn't know that. I wanted a, a mountain. I figured we had two. I wanted to get my second red source. And I was in a Scorching Dragon Fire, the Leafkin Druid. That is super awkward. I, mean, I guess we can Brazen Borrow it, but... Let's just do it. Yeah. Alright, that sucks, but whatever. Hunter resub, welcome back. Thunder Wonka just part of the game. Arena is a slightly different game than we're used to, and that's okay. I want something bigger than that. That's decently big. Um, all right, Euro. That's not bad. Goodbye, Euro. It is Valentine's Day, VTM. It is Valentine's Day. You can... 
I understand Arena does tell things sometimes, but... You can go like this. You can just, like, set a stop. Well, I have, I have actions I can take, but... They just got nothing? What is going on? No Nissa? No... No things? Growth Spiral. Alright. Let's, let's deck. They're going to Castle Vantress in response to my Krasis. It's a good time to do it. And we have our own Vantress. That's pretty awesome. That is pretty awesome. Four and Vantress and two. Leafkin Druid. Okay. What is going on over there? All right. Castle Vantress. Temple. I like this temple here. Put that right to play. Get a little scry going. Also not bad. Euro's ready to roll. They haven't done literally anything. Just gonna throw that out there. World starts soon, but we're going to watch it right here. Get some popcorn. Hide your kids. Hide your wife. I don't know why you're hiding your kids and your wife on Valentine's Day. Oh my god, they're dead. Are you playing Sparky? It doesn't feel like it. I wish there was a tap all lands button. Just like, tap all my lands for the first available mana, you know? I also think that when you... When you mouse over a dual land, rather than having to click it and then click a color, when you mouse over it, the two colors should pop up. You should be able to click it. It's only one click, not two. What happened to Zibby Cam? Zibby's, uh, he's just sleeping. He's just a Valentine's Day hammy. I, clean, I cleaned all the cages today. Zibby's cage smells. It is unbelievable how much waste Zibby makes. Like, a uh, gerbils, gerbils are desert animals. They're so efficient. They rarely pee. They they crap a little bit, like tiny little pellets. That's it. And Zibby drinks so much. He eats so much. He craps everywhere. The amount of waste he produces is unbelievable. He is one smelly hammy. Hear that, Zibby? You hear that? Zibby's like, he's a non-functioning creature. If he lived in the wild, he would die instantly. Just die. He would just die. He has no survival instincts. His, his body is so inefficient. But it's just like, it's unreal. He's the best, though. Makes him a good pet. All right, so what were they playing? I forgot. Oh, yeah, Simic, do nothing. Um, so three Aether Gusts. Uh, I don't think Brazen Borrower is, like, great, honestly. Like, what am I bouncing, you know? Dragonfire is awkward. Also... We do want to kill Risen Reef and other one, but not much else. I actually have no idea how I want to sideboard. Not a clue. Not a clue. Borrow worker and attack Nyssa, I suppose, but let's do this. Hawk food, basically. Zibby just like, he's a lemming. He just like walks off things. Like, he's sitting on my lap. He just like basically tries to fall off the edge. He'll sleep in my lap and I'll try and roll over. I have to catch him sometimes if he tries to roll over the front. Like, he just, he just, he's just a lemming. He just would not survive. Ever. Dispute is good against Risen Reef, but I don't want to overboard either. Uh, hmm. I guess.
Man, they are playing the the slowest do nothingest Simic deck I have ever seen. Normally when I play Simic, they go turn one, Grazer, turn two, Risen Reef, turn three, whatever, and they just have a hundred lands of play on turn three. Euro. I don't really mind gusting this. Honestly. Just like tempo. I wouldn't like counter it, but gusting it seems fine. We want to Euro of ourselves, set up reclamation and stuff. Alright. Didn't need a second one of those, but sure. Alright, we gotta draw a land, but it's okay. They top or bottom that thing? They bottomed it? Sure. I need your land. I mean, I don't want to get this Reclamation countered. Yeah, we're just going to go here, because if, if they counter my, my, my Reclamation and cast Nissa, it's just a disaster, so just chill. Reclamation number two. I think land drops are more important. That's what they do here. Your hamster was able to jump? I mean, gerbils can jump really high. Ger gerbils jump, like, they don't realize how high they can actually jump. Gerbils can jump, like, a foot, foot and a half. Um, can't see Zibby, uh, can't see Zibby getting too much air. He can climb. He can climb. Have a layer of thorns with one mana up. So they clearly they have a dispute here. It's kinda lame. Um We have to resolve a reclamation next turn. That's awkward. Awkward, awkward, awkward. I guess we'll just try and bounce it. Maybe it'll, maybe it'll dispute the bounce. Ceratops, eh? I think Watsi are printing fetch lands into standard would be they would they would never do that. Fetch lands are should not be in standard. I mean they could have negate. They drew a land. Works. We just use the expansion to counter it back. Alright, sure, whatever. Go. Damn it. <laughs> well, we can't uh can't expansion that one. Alright, I, I guess. That's annoying. This play makes no sense. Um, right now, our counter magic is down. Just resolve the Cavalier again. I guess they're scared of like Aether. I mean, if I have Gust, I can just Gust this too. You gotta play Ceratops the turn that I'm totally untapped to really get me. This is like whatever. We do have to like not die to it, I guess, but. Unless they have another negate, I guess? Like I said, well, they had a bit of Gust and then negate. I guess. I guess it gusts me again. 
throw. God damn it! <laughs> they keep playing counter spells. We can't expansion. All right, I think we're dead this game. Um, what do we do this game? We must we must have screwed this game up for sure. Now we probably just can't beat the Ceratops. It's not unlucky. You just you probably just played bad. Aether, double Aether Gust, Agent Retreat. Mm. Yeah, I think we're just super dead here. Yeah. All right. I think we probably played bad that game. Um, hmm. Really weird. So, hmm. This deck's complicated. Come on, Arena, you can do it. I believe in you. Ready for the big stage on Worlds. Ready for the big stage. board like do I, maybe I want some disputes do I want ambusher do I want to shave down and expect it I I'm pretty happy with four expansions in the in the with the thought process of I can just like negate their negate with the expansion but we tried to do that twice that game and we couldn't aether gust and aether gust and we couldn't disable stroke and disable stroke so it was pretty bad um Ambusher is just, like, good, and it can make blockers for Triceratops also. It's true. Fastest Intervention seems to be kind of bad. I kind of want some disputes also. Um, I don't like Borrower very much because I don't really want to bounce any of their stuff. I'm going to take out, like... I'm just going to try to make my deck a little leaner and bring in some disputes. I have no idea if this is correct or not. I I think it's really hard to mulligan a hand with a growth spiral. The growth spiral is just so freaking good. There's no way Esper is better than Blue White Control. Blue White Control is like probably one of the best decks in the format. I'm just gonna main phase this. And nothing blue they would cast on turn two, so. Do I want to have the option to intervention? I don't think so. My pick for world champion is Paulo Vitor Demo De Rosa. So I'll put in Passage and Steam Vents. I'm just going to fetch now. We have red, 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 blue, 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 green, green. Alright, so we have an intervention to counter their spell. We've got a uh, closing it on Euro. We can crease his next turn. Sounds pretty good. Paula Vitor Damo De Rosa. That's a long name. Be nice if he had a cool nickname. Yeah, it would be nice. 
All right, this is uh, this is fine. We're not gonna counter this. Lord Drakon, are you abusing your moderator powers by putting your own pick in the in the command? Um. Okay. Like, we play Graces here. We definitely draw a lot of cards, but I'm just gonna say go. We're on an odd number of lands. They could just like dispute it or stroke it. I still want, I want to get the creature too. So, with great power comes great responsibility. Someone said that once. I think it was Professor Xavier, or maybe Nick Fury, or it was Spawn. Remember Spawn? Anyone? Was it, was, it, was it Spawn? It was Spawn, right? It was definitely Spawn. I used to have Spawn combat uh, Spawn comic book number one. It was definitely Spawn. I saw I sold it to a friend for like ten bucks. They're in the freaking tank. Jeez. I know it was Spider-Man's uncle. Alright? Come on, guys. For real. Get trolled. Oh, it was Harley Quinn. That's who it was. It was definitely Harley Quinn. Captain Russia, new sub. What's your name? Away from local, my friend. Captain Russia's here. I think it was Captain Russia who said, with great power comes great responsibility. Right? He also said, X-Men, Assemble. I don't know what they're doing. What, what's going on here? All right, we're going to pop off on our intervention, I think. Which was op first. I never saw a Spawn movie. Pretty sure we intervene. Maybe not, actually. We just, like, do nothing, maybe? I also want a Euro is putting cards like Yeah, whatever. Just, just freaking crank it. They counter it. They counter it. Whatever. Uh, X is four. With a great power comes great responsibility. Mary Poppins from the, from the movie Star Wars. <sighs> Y'all are too easy. All right. Um, play some stuff. Night Pack Ambusher? That's kind of nice. Actually, um, okay. Bad tap, bad tap. Better tap. Euro. Aether Gust. Mm. Sure. Um. I think it'd be Reclamation. If they counter it, it's kind of whatever. We're just slamming a Monster Crisis next turn. We're just like way out of lands, too, so. And if it resolves, you get to ambush her, too, so. So I kind of like want them to play like a Cavalier next turn so I can play Krasis. This is fine also, I guess. Maybe I should have just waited for this. So now they, they can play Nissa. Yeah, I think I, I think I played this game horribly. That was really stupid. I should have said go. I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have cast anything that turn. They're just so dumb. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. I'm usually, I'm usually so patient too. This is a horribly, horribly played turn. Destroy 
I mean, now we're, like, monumentally behind. They just counter whatever I play. I mean... Let's see. So they can, now now they, can, they can play Krasis, they can play Asian Treachery. Yeah, we, we, we played this game horribly. Oh, boy. That was all fast. Uh, okay. I mean, they have Mystic Dispute. The problem is that they have... Whatever. Just do it. Just do it. Please don't have Krasis or Asian Treachery. Please don't have Krasis or Asian Treachery. I'm not seeing it. It's not happening. The ostrich method. method. I don't hear anything. Right now they're counting their mana. They're like 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 35, 67. Cast Grace is from 47. The ostrich is a wise and noble fowl. We could learn much from it. I do really like the idea of boarding out Reclamation in this deck. What the hell? It's time out. It's time out. I mean, like, I kind of, like, don't want to cast a spell so I can get a wolf, but I also want to just, like, cast a spell, because casting spells is tight. We're going to play Krasis for four. I don't know what's happening. They aren't doing anything and everything is resolving. Their hand is a boreal grazer, a boreal grazer, a boreal grazer, a boreal grazer. <laughs> bottom, bottom. And their, their top two cards were also two boreal grazers. Alright, uh, I mean, untap, play omen. Nice night pack ambusher, you know. I think if you want to do the ambusher thing, you gotta, you gotta like really go all in on it. Maybe not, though. What do I know? Alright, you're up. Pretty weird game. Pretty weird game. Not gonna lie. Agent of Treachery. Or nah. They have two mana up. So X is two. And look at that. Just enough to uh, give them the old Castle Vantress. Could have like, I guess untapping eleven this doesn't even matter. <laughs> Play land, sure.
Shifting Ceratops. Oh, I. Right. Uh, yeah, attack all, attack away. Yeah, uh, sure. Not a problem. So we got one card in the bin. I guess we could just push in the castle. Castle says, boom! Boom, shakalaka! Uh, can't count this high. That's 6, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24. Ah! You know it's not good for you when you get when you get attacked, not your Nissa. Want to buy one tap all lands button, and I get a wolf. Resolve, resolve. What I say it was? I forgot. Looks to me like 16. I tell you what, you can even draw the cards. Alright? You can even draw the cards. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, they fixed that one. Way early on, I was playing a Twitch Rivals tournament against Numot. And I was playing Expansion Explosion. And they didn't have that secondary dialogue of, like, are you sure you want your opponent to draw cards? And I, like, made him draw four cards and lost the game because of it. And I was sad. It was a sad day. Sorry, folks. Alright, so, um, I mean, deck's certainly very powerful. Like I said, if this, if the fairy didn't exist, this deck would be so good. Um, but, definitely, the sideboard's weird. I really like the sideboard I saw, where it was just like four night pack ambushers, a bunch of counter spells. you just literally board it out of the combo and into like a Simic Flash deck, practically. So, um, but obviously, oh, I'm smarter than I am, so... Yeah, deck seems really good. So, who's going to win Worlds? I have no idea. But it's starting right now, so we're going to, apparently we're going to co-stream it. Which I wasn't planning on doing, but I have 700 fantastic viewers. Give yourself a hand! 700 fantastic viewers. And, uh, but remember folks, like I said, if you're trying to figure out the Worlds deck list, what I said a few times already is that you shouldn't copy these lists card for card. Why? Because they're metagamed for the specific metagame at Worlds. And my article today on CoolStuffInc.com goes over that concept of metagaming for a small field or metagaming in general. Um, and basically, I call it deck advantage. Going into a tournament where you're at, you have, an, you have an advantage because you sit down at the table and you're already ahead before you even start the games. And uh, how it can apply to you, how it can apply to your local tournaments, whether they're small F&Ms or uh, Grand Prix uh, online. So definitely a cool one. I enjoyed writing this article a lot. It came out really, really good. So check it out. Uh, CoolStuffInc.com, my article today. Deck Advantage, gaining an edge before you start to play. CoolStuffInc.com. I do a video Monday, article Friday. Promo code Jim5 uh, Jim for all your orders on there as well. But YouTube folks, I love you. And I'll see you fine folks soon. If you missed any of these decks, I played all five of these decks. We got Autumn's uh, Reclamation deck, Sesmon, Red deck, Javier's Fires deck, Polo's Blue Eye Control deck, and Canister's Jund food deck. If you missed any of those, they're all on the YouTube. But YouTube folks, I love you. Follow, like, subscribe, comment, smile, be happy.